Good morning. Today let's study about the inguinal canal. To understand about the inguinal canal, first we should know the location of the inguinal canal. This inguinal canal is located at the lower part of the anterior abdominal wall. Okay, lower part of the anterior, you can see this is the pelvis, this is the lower part of the anterior abdominal wall. It's an oblique passage just above the medial half of the inguinal ligament just above the medial half of the inguinal ligament okay so this inguinal canal is an oblique pass passage it will have a deep inguinal ring okay the uh, the canal is extending from the deep inguinal ring which will be situated here then it will pass along the inguinal ligament okay it will pass along the lingual ligament and then it will open out through the superficial inguinal ring this superficial inguinal ring is an triangular opening which is present in this aponeurotic layer okay this is actually the external oblique aponeurosis okay the we know the anterior abdominal wall muscle the outermost muscle is the external oblique muscle so the opening which is present on the medial aspect and the inframedial aspect of the external oblique aponeurosis which is triangular in shape is called the superficial inguinal ring Okay, superficial inguinal ring you can see the superficial inguinal ring is located over the pubic crest you can see it is just over the pubic crest here is the pubic tubercle this is the pubic symphysis pubic crest this is the pubic tubercle this is the opening which is located just over the pubic crest first we'll see about the external oblique aponeurosis this external oblique aponeurosis is nothing but the insertion of the external oblique muscle okay external oblique muscle will come down it will attach to the center part that linea alba then it is attached to the pubic symphysis we can see here it is attached to the pubic symphysis followed by it is attached to the pubic crest and the pubic tubercle okay after that it has a free inferior border you can see it is free the inferior border is free it is not attached to the bone okay so attachment from the pubic tubercle then the laterally the external oblique aponeurosis is attached to the pubic uh, sorry the anterior superior iliac spine it is attached to the anterior superior iliac spine here okay so the ex area between the anterior superior iliac spine and uh, the pubic tubercle okay will fold downwards you can see the fold here it will fold downwards and you can see the fold here it is folding like this and this fold of the sectional oblique aponeurosis is called the inguinal ligament okay is called the inguinal ligament okay then the aponeurosis is attached to the iliac crest also okay on the anterior aspect of the iliac crest also along the outer lip okay that we need not worry about okay to understand the inguinal canal we need to know about this external oblique aponeurosis and inguinal ligament okay inguinal ligament so the uh inguinal canal is located over the grooved surface grooved surface of the can you see this is the grooved surface grooved surface of the inguinal ligament okay so the inguinal ligament will form the floor of the inguinal canal okay the spermatic cord is the main content of the inguinal canal in case of males okay so we can see the spermatic cord is emerging out of the abdominal cavity and emerging out of the inguinal canal through the superficial inguinal ring okay this is the this pink color represents the spermatic cord and we can see the spermatic cord is lying over the inguinal ligament so this portion is the inguinal ligament you can see it is lying over the grooved surface of the inguinal ligament which will form the floor of the inguinal canal now the next muscle what we need to know to understand the inguinal canal is this one this is the internal oblique muscle we can see this internal oblique muscle will be taking origin from the lateral two thirds of the inguinal ligament you can see it is taking origin from the lateral two thirds of inguinal ligament you can see okay taking origin from the lateral two thirds of the inguinal ligament and also from the intermediate part of the iliac crest on the anterior aspect and also the intermediate part of the iliac crest so this is the next muscle what we should remember okay now already we saw the floor which is formed by the medial aspect of the inguinal ligament okay now the roof is formed by the arched fibers of the external oblique muscle you can see the roof 
see this covering is this covering the roof A roof is formed by the arched fibers which which are from the external uh, from the internal oblique muscle okay arched fibers of the internal oblique muscle next the last important muscle of the anterior abdominal wall what we should remember is the inter, uh, is the transverse abdominis muscle this is the transverse abdominis muscle which is the third layer muscle okay innermost layer of the muscle this transverse abdominis muscle is taking origin from the lateral one third of the inguinal ligament we can see it is taking origin from the lateral one third of the inguinal ligament from this green inguinal ligament okay and also it is getting attached to the inner lip of the iliac crest is also attached to the inner lip of the iliac crest now there is a opening which is present in this in this muscle okay there is a opening which is there which is present in this muscle through which the contents of the inguinal canal passes this transverse abdominis muscle also arches over the content okay arches over the content here to form the roof to form the roof so the roof is formed by the transverse abdominis and also the arched fibers of the internal oblique okay which is roofing over the content you can see roofing over the spermatic cord in case of males okay which will form the roof now the last layer what we should remember is the this facial layer okay this violet color structure represents the facial layer this is the fascia transversalis fascia transversalis this fascia will be covering the inner surfaces of the inner surface of all the uh, inner surface of the abdominal muscles and also it will continue as the iliac fascia you can see continuing as the iliac fascia okay there is a opening there is a rounded opening which is present in the fascia transversalis this opening is located 1.2 cm above the mid inguinal point okay 1.2 cm above the mid inguinal point what is mid inguinal point it is the mid point between the uh, pubic symphysis and the anterior superior iliac spine pubic symphysis and the anterior superior iliac spine the mid point is called mid inguinal point if you take 1.2 cm above the mid inguinal point that will be corresponding to the opening which is present in the in the fascia transversalis and this opening is called the deep inguinal ring since it is deeply placed it is deep inguinal ring now the inguinal canal is extending from this deep inguinal ring up to the superficial inguinal ring so this is the extent of the inguinal canal this deep ring is located just lateral to the inferior epigastric artery the inferior epigastric artery will be arising here and it will be passing like this okay so this deep ring is also we can tell it is it is uh, present lateral to the inferior epigastric artery now we have completed the model of the inguinal canal okay now we will see the boundaries and extent just the extent is from the super uh, deep inguinal ring to the superficial inguinal ring okay now we will see the boundaries first we have the floor which is formed by the inguinal ligament okay floor is formed by the inguinal ligament we can see the green color structure and the spermatic cord is lying over it so the floor is formed by the inguinal ligament and the medial end the floor is also formed by the lacuna and lacunar ligament okay the medial only in the medial end the floor is also formed by the lacunar ligament hmm? then coming to the roof roof is formed by the arched fibers of the internal oblique and also the arched fibers of the transverse abdomen transverse abdominis muscle okay these two muscles okay so the second layer muscle and the third layer muscle the arched fibers of the transverse abdominis and the arched fibers of the internal oblique which will form the roof now coming to the anterior wall okay we have made this aponeurotic layer that is the external oblique aponeurosis with green okay which will form the inguinal ligament okay so that forms the anterior wall other than this anterior to this we have the skin superficial fascia so the skin superficial fascia and the external oblique aponeurotic layer will form the anterior wall other than this if you see the canal is extending from here okay the canal is extending from here so this layer see is also present anterior to the canal okay this layer is also present so lateral one third of the canal is bounded anteriorly by this muscle also okay so the lateral one third of the canal is bounded anteriorly by this muscle also that is the internal oblique so the anterior wall is formed by the skin superficial fascia and the external oblique aponeurotic layer 
to the full extent okay then only in the lateral one third it is also bounded anteriorly by this muscle that is the internal oblique now coming to the posterior layer so the posterior layer is formed by this fascia the fascia transversalis okay the fascia transversalis okay which will cover the entire canal posteriorly okay then along with that we have the extra peritoneal connective tissue and also the peritoneum the parietal peritoneum parietal layer of the peritoneum and the extra peritoneal connective tissue which will be present deep to this facial layer okay this facial layer so the three structures will cover the entire posterior layer which one the fascia transversalis the extra peritoneal connective tissue and the parietal layer of the peritoneum in the medial two thirds in the medial two thirds of the canal the posterior layer is reinforced by the tendinous the tendons of this these two muscles okay by these two muscles this is actually the internal oblique this is actually the transverse abdominis the tendons of the transverse abdominis and the internal oblique will unite together to form a structure called conjoint tendon okay structure called conjoint tendon this conjoint tendon will be covering the posterior wall on the medial two thirds okay medial two thirds it is reinforced by the conjoint tendon which is nothing but the tendons of these two muscles okay the internal oblique and the transverse abdominis and the medial most end medial most end we can see the reflected part of the inguinal ligament which will form the posterior wall the reflected part of the inguinal ligament which will form little bit of the posterior wall the medial end so this is about the boundaries of inguinal canal now coming to the contents so the main content of the inguinal canal is the spermatic cord in case of males and the round ligament of uterus in case of females so this is actually the male model so we have the spermatic cord here along with the structure we have a nerve the ilioinguinal nerve as the content okay along with these structures we have ilioinguinal nerve as the content of this canal few words about the applied importance so this canal is very important for understanding the mechanism of hernia okay there are two different types of hernia which will occur through the inguinal uh, occur at, the, at this region okay one is a direct hernia other one is indirect hernia the direct hernia the contents will enter through the deep ring okay sorry the indirect hernia the contents will enter through the deep ring it traverses the entire canal then it will come out through the superficial ring to fill the scrotal sac okay that is the direction of that is the direction of indirect hernia indirect inguinal hernia now coming to the direct inguinal hernia it will be projecting directly through the anterior abdominal muscles here okay always the position of direct inguinal hernia will be medial to the inferior epigastric vessels will be medial to the inferior epigastric vessels okay hope this video made you understand the complicated path of this inguinal canal thank you